Some of these bridges are approaching 150 years old. Now, people don't make it that long, but these bridges do, and just like elderly people, they need care. We constantly have to make sure that their needs are met, and their needs are usually structural kinds of things, or even cosmetic. It may not hold the bridge up, but it's what makes the bridge what it is. They're our link to the past. They're things that allow us to not just hear about or maybe look at some photographs, but to experience. Imagine the people who look in the books or see a picture in the paper of a covered bridge and they sort of imagine maybe for a moment what it would be like to walk through that bridge. What would be that feeling? But to have them to actually be able to do that is becoming a rare commodity anymore, that, that we're always losing these important cultural structures. Outrage, which is how I feel when I come onto one of these properties in the morning or I'm driving around in the evening just sort of seeing if the needs of my children are met and I see that somebody has done some destruction to them, some wanton destruction, which has no purpose, they didn't improve it, they only damaged it and it costs money to keep these up. Uh, work that we see being done cost into the thousands of dollars to keep these structures suitable and extend their lives. Remember, they're growing up, there are children, they're getting older. Uh, we have to take care of them. We want these things to last for generations because certainly there are going to be more and more people on this earth and it's going to get more crowded, but we have to set these places aside to provide a bit of solace for people to escape, you know, the apartment building, their homes sitting among other homes. And usually when you come to these places and you just sit down on the floor of a covered bridge, it kind of is like a sponge. It takes away all of those things that you brought with you when you walked into the park and when you walked into that covered bridge. It allows you, it gives you time, it gives you protection because this thing's wrapping its arms about you and saying it's okay. Uh, we're gonna be here tomorrow and we're gonna be here 10 years and we're gonna be here 100 years from now. You can count on us, we'll always be here. And there aren't too many things in these days that we can say would do that for us.